Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa of Diamonds and Stitches and today I am going to do a actually an unboxing because I never did it and then a kitting up of what is it called here? Do, 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 white roses and butterflies. So um, this is a kit that the wheel chose. <laughs> I um, I decided that I couldn't I couldn't decide what I wanted to um, do as a diamond painting as I had finished Mama Magical Mama and um, for some reason I want to call her Mama Knows Best and they're so completely different paintings and I don't know why I want to keep doing that but it's Magical Mama and um, and Serene Siren Triptych. So I had finished those not too long ago and um, I did post reviews on both of those. So if you wanna go see those videos, they are in my, they're in my video list. And, um, and so what I did was I went through my Diamond Art Club um, orders and all of the paintings that I still had uh, boxed up, I put the names in this random wheel picker and um and then let the wheel pick um two diamond paintings for me and the first one was wolf dream catcher by suniva meister and i did an, a kidding up of that just a little while ago uh like a day ago and then um and then it also chose this one which is uh white roses and butterflies and this kit is one I had actually purchased first. It is in the very, very first order I ever did. Oh, huh, why I've got some dust on here, guys. Maybe it's gem dust. I don't know. Um, so it's one of the very first kits that I had ever purchased from Diamond Art Club. Ooh, there's some diamonds. I have to do my floor anyway, so whatever. Um, so yes, so it was the very very first kit that I ever bought, and um, and so let's do an unboxing of it so you can see it, and then we'll do a kitting up. So, uh, you know, it comes in a nice box like they always do with Diamond Art Club. Um, yep, Diamond Art Club on the front, um, and their motto: "Do what makes you sparkle," which I just love. Look, Pam, you just got some more um, baggies. I'll add these to a Monday's um, or to the mail. Um, <clears throat> the kit always comes with, with, they call it the magic applicator. So you get um, a drill pen, diamond painting pen that has a one placer you see that a one placer on it I know if you're new you've never seen these so in, and if you're a returning subscriber and you hear me say the same things over again it's because new people when they join they really don't know and um, and everybody starts somewhere right so I I just feel that it is important to give the information and I know it's repetitive but um, you know, we all start somewhere and um, some people are afraid to ask questions. So I try to give as much information as I can. So, um, you know, uh, it's a toolkit. You guys, have, if you're returning, have all seen it, you can fast forward. <laughs> um, and then it comes with a three placer as well inside the box. I'm sorry, the bag. And um, you just put it in the other end. And that is for if you have a large section of diamonds, the same diamonds in a section, you can go a little faster by using a three placer. I just started, I've been diamond painting for almost two years and I just started using a three placer. I'm going to try a four placer um, in my next video. Um, I couldn't get the hang of the three placer. I couldn't get my diamonds properly placed. And so I did it with the single. And um, I find that I'm just as fast, honestly, because I was having to stop and um, fix my diamonds with a three. So it was actually taking me more time. So, um, so yes, yeah, so that's what you get. You get a squishy 
um, a cushion grip and that you put on the end of your pen so that it's just, it's like a comfort grip and it's just so that you can hold your pen nicer and um, yeah. It comes with two little heart-shaped waxes. I mean, seriously, it's my favorite part in every kit. I just love to see the little hearts um, come sliding out of that bag and um, they just make me happy. So I hope they never stop that because I think it's one of their signatures and, um, but I love it. I really, I truly do love it. And then it comes with a clear tray with a spout. Um, I think everybody has heard my issues with the spout, but a viewer did say to me that um, because my last kidding up, I spilled my drills all over the place. And so she suggested using one of the trays with a spout um, to pour the diamonds in from the bag first and then put into the container. I also had another subscriber who had mentioned using a funnel and I went to the dollar store to buy a funnel and completely forgot because I got distracted by all the other pretties that were in there and completely forgot why I was there in the first place. Clearly I need to write myself better notes. So that comes with that. And so that is that. And then of course it comes with a canvas that is rolled up. Um, I call them magical canvases because it doesn't matter how it, it comes rolled like this. If you roll it and you see it's all, oh, you can't see that. You see it's like that. If you roll it the other way, and you guys, this is the first time I've actually seen. I wonder if you can do that on this one. Wait. Um, This is the first time I've gotten one that doesn't have the clear plastic on it. So I don't know if you can do that on it. Um inside the rolled canvas you get this is this nine yeah the nine steps on diamond painting diamond painting is so easy you guys like honestly it is so easy like you know cross stitching you need maybe a little bit more coaching for crocheting you need you know some additional coaching for um you know cutting cutting sewing that kind of thing uh, maybe some more coaching but diamond painting it's so easy you choose the color that goes with the symbol you know you use your diamond painting pen and you slap it on the glue and a pretty picture comes out like it's so easy so I think it's funny that it needs nine steps but okay um yeah this is the first time I've seen a canvas like this it says it's made in the USA down in the bottom here I don't recall any of my other ones saying that. I'm gonna have to go look. I guess I've never noticed. Um, Diamond Art Club canvases are, um, have this awesome velvety finish. Yeah, I'm not rolling that. Um, have a nice finish on the other side. Um, it's all velvety, tarpaulin, whatever. And, um, and it makes it nice and soft and it makes it pliable. Seriously, this is the first time I have ever seen um, a Diamond Art Club kit with this paper on it. And I have to tell you, I don't love it as much as I like the, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I don't love it as much as I like the clear canvas. I, I'm sorry, cover. Um, it doesn't make this canvas pliable like the clear cover does. And what am I doing? What am I doing? I hope I'm making my own wrinkle and not bubbles. Okay, so seeing as I'm getting somewhere here, I'm just gonna open this up so you can see what it looks like. Is this not pretty? Oh yeah, it is. And I can tell you that the canvas already is nice and sticky and oh man, you guys. Okay, I'm kind of thrilled about this one because my recent un unboxings have been uber, uber dark. You know what? This has some bubbling on it. Huh. Yeah, there's some bubbling in, in this. That's the first time I think I've had a Diamond Art Club kit have bubbling on it. Huh. I mean, it's not horrible, but it is there and it does need to be fixed. It'll be an easy fix, but I'm surprised. I am surprised. Okay, so... Let's have a look up at the canvas. The, uh, the, um, 
drill field is nice and clear. I'm not going to need to use a, a light pad on this, even though I probably will, uh, just because I like using my light pad. And um, actually, you know what? No, because, oh my goodness. Okay, now standing over top of it, there's more bubbling. Oh, yeah, there's a big bit in here. Huh. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a Diamond Art Club canvas with this much bubbling in it. I am surprised. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little surprised. Okay, well, um, still doing it. I will fix it <laughs> to the best of my ability, which is questionable at best sometimes. All right, so this kit, I don't even think I told you guys. I want to say it's rounds. Please tell me it's rounds. Yes, it's rounds. Um, oh, still didn't get it on there right. Oh, man alive. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. It has 14 colors to it. And, um... Yeah, 14 colors, which is really awesome. And it has one AB diamonds to it, and it looks like they're going to be the white, the white ones. So let's pull this off to the side here and get these diamonds out. Okay, so this must be super old packaging, and which makes sense because I bought it, this back in March. When I first started buying Diamond Art Club was in March. And um, let's see if I can get rid of that glare, sorry. And um, and so that makes sense. Uh, the new kits come with a different, um, a different uh, naming system on the outside, but wait, I think it, it's gone back almost to this. Um, it used to say the name of the kit on the outside and then it's birth date, and this one does have its birth date. It's um, March 7th of 2019. So let me see that, March 7th, 2019. And um, so that's when it was, okay, there's floaty drills in here too. Oh my goodness, okay. So maybe this was before some of the newer kits were coming out and um, their quality control was maybe a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly, oh, okay. And these are in individual small packets. Oh yeah. And one of the, um, couple of the packets it looks like opened up. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to find out which one that is. I think it's this one right there, possibly. Um, Ooh, there's a couple of packets of AB Diamonds, though. So pretty. Ooh, there's another one. Okay, that makes me happy. Um, oh my gosh, there's another one. Wow, okay. Oh. Another one. Wow, okay, so this is the very first time I have not only received a kit like this from Diamond Art Club, and another AB Diamonds. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, all of these white ones are AB Diamonds. Is this an AB? No. Mm -mm. Oh my God, there's more. There's so many more. Okay, it does make me happy. It does make me happy, but um, a couple of these bags are open because look, do you guys see all those drills that are down there? Um, it looks like two or three bags of different colors are open. So I will have to figure out what those are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you for right now. And then I will come back when I have them sorted into, um, into their, their proper numbers. And then we will come back and I will kit up and then we'll do some more chatting. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys. So I am back and I have sorted them all into the number order that I need them to be. I have to say that this kit from Diamond Art Club, I am so glad that they um, have changed their process because um, there's a mixture in here of like how you would get diamonds from um, 
Ally Express and um, you know they come in these little teeny tiny bags with the number on the front and then Diamond Art Club um, does theirs let's see is this a Diamond Art Club yeah this is a Diamond Art Club this is the way that they do them now that they have on the one side do what makes your sparkle and um, and they're and Diamond Art Club and then on the other side they've got the this was a horrible example. They've got the number of the, um, the, it's the DMC number that corresponds to the symbol and the number on the legend. But I'm so glad that Diamond Art Club has changed because here is a Diamond Art Club um, packaging, but they missed <laughs> the number in this nice space here so you can actually see it it is down here and by process of elimination i figured out what this number is but it is so stinking hard like I, you can't read that there's no way you can read that um so by process of elimination i figured it out but by far this is the oddest kit that i have received from diamond art club so i am thrilled that um that this was not the first kit that I ever did because I think that if it was, I probably would be turned off. Um, not only because of the canvas with this, with the um, thicker um, cover on it, which is funny because I have always said, oh, I hate the clear, I hate the clear, I hate the clear. Well, guess what? Um, having this covering on this canvas has now changed my mind for Diamond Art Club and the clear cover on the front. So kudos um, to Diamond Art Club. But I, again, I will say if this was if this was my first kit and after everything that I had heard about Diamond Art Club, I could maybe see why there are people in the community who don't understand why there is such a love for Diamond Art Club if this was a kit or similar to um, what they first received I could totally get it so with that and again that's just my opinion and since then I clearly love Diamond Art Club and support quite quite a lot monthly and um, at least two diamond paintings if not more monthly so um, I, I do like them. That's not the issue. The issue is this is very, very, very poor quality control. Um, okay. Enough said, enough said. <laughs> okay. So I am going to do like a viewer suggested and, um, and pour them into the tray first. And because I had to do this so weirdly than normal, I am actually going to go a little slower. So, and I wonder how many packets I will be able to get in. And the other thing that I'm going to say about this, and then, then I'm going to stop. <laughs> but the other thing I'm going to say is that um, this is also the first time that I have ever had um, so many drills that uh, came out of broken packages. So um, all over my table, I cleaned them up just before I, came, I started talking, but all over my table are um, diamonds that have come out of packages that are just a little slit over the corner. Um, okay, you guys, I'm gonna live dangerously. I wonder how many, let's see. Okay, so this is three. Remember last time I was saying that I was able to get like seven or eight um, of these packages from an Ally Express kit into a bottle? Let's see how many. So what was that, four? I think it was four. Ha, much better, guys, much better. Whoop. Okay, so that's four. Okay, I'm gonna live dangerously. Here's five. I mean, this isn't dangerous. Five and six. 
yeah. I hope I get more than six in there. Six. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that it would be, you know, I meant to get a different, um, do you think I can do it? Oh, I don't want to tempt fate. Oh, I'm not going to tempt fate. Okay, so not tempting fate. <laughs> I got six in, so I will put these in a different, um, I'll put those in a sandwich baggie as the extras so that when I'm done, um, I'll be able to put them in. Okay, now this is a Diamond Art Club. Oh, the dogs are going crazy out the side. I might have to pause so I can go get them. Ugh, yeah. Maria sounds like maybe she's, she's sounding the alarm cat cat there's a cat she despises cats they have a big kennel outside and um there's a cat that taunts my dogs in the backyard and why it thinks that this is a good idea I don't know because my big 128 pound Dane Mastiff mix thinks that when she sees a cat that she is all of a sudden, oop, have become a gymnast and that she can get out of the kennel, which is like a 12 foot, oh goodness sakes. Okay, you guys, yes, this is a good idea if Lisa was not, I have some shaking issues tonight, so um, bear with me. <sighs> okay, I still spelled a little, so Pam, your suggestion is fantastic <laughs> if I could get myself together. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, Rhea, at 120 pounds, believes that she has become a world-class Olympist and um, can move herself over the top of the kennel and snag the cat. And... Um, the cat made the mistake one day. There's some, to give our dog some shade, we um, placed some wood paneling over the top of a portion of the kennel. And um, the cat decided it would be a good idea to taunt the dog that was in the kennel. Happened to be Rhea, who despises cats. Odin's a little bit more chill. Um, he's like, oh, cat, cat, I'm afraid. Oh, help me. But Ray is like, snack, snack, let me get you. And um, that cat lost its balance on the top. And um, luckily, cats are agile, right? Well, she lost her balance. And, um, and, she came very close to Rhea's, Rhea's jaws. So, um, not that I think that Rhea would have actually done anything. It was more a warning of, hey, you're in my space. This is my home and I am here to protect it. And you are not part of my home. And, um, and so, yeah. <laughs> Whereas Odin would be like, in the corner cowering oh my gosh there's a strange animal in in my kennel what do i do bark bark help me bark bark dad come out and get save me so yeah he's a big chicken <laughs> so raya the girl she's the protector and uh odin's our our scaredy cat which is hilarious but um yeah so uh that cat still thinks that it should i think it said ha ha i have nine lives and um you didn't get me this time. So, <sighs> and Ray is like, oh, you're done. <laughs> so, yeah. Every time she sees squirrel, uh, cat, um, I don't know. There was one day that, that another cat in the neighborhood, we've got quite a few cats in the neighborhood and they're allowed to roam free. 
and um, and uh, my granddaughter loves cats. She would she would rather have a cat than a dog. <laughs> Well, I think she'd actually have any of them, but we tease her about her being a cat lady. And I may have shared this one day, but um, I'm highly allergic to cats. And I had a cat uh, growing up named Snowball um, and that we rescued, but as soon as it got well, um, we had to, she went to a family who was able to take care of it better, plus I had allergies. And, um, whoop, squirrel here. 898. 898 is number four, yes. Um, just want to make sure I'm on track because, again, I had to do this a little weird. Um, but, yeah, and then when, um, when I moved into our first place, uh, we got a cat because, you know, they don't make a lot of noise. And... Um, and it was supposedly a pet free building, but people had dogs and cats and birds and all kinds of animals. And um, so anyways, we got a cat and my ex-husband was not awesome about cleaning things. And so, um, you know, I was always doing the cat litter and stuff. Well, then I got pregnant and people were like, you can't change the cat litter, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and because I am allergic to two cats. Anyway, long story short, we had to get rid of the dang cat. And, um, so we have not had cats. My kids have not had cats and my granddaughter would love a cat. And so we joke that she's the cat. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, where was I? Cat lady. And so she would, you know, love a bunch of cats. Well, she knows that her uncle and I are allergic to cats. And she once said to me, Grammy, it's not like I want you to die, but when you do, I can get a bunch of cats. I mean, it's good to know where I rate on the scale. At least she doesn't want me to go anywhere. But, you know, when I finally do, cats are going to be in her future. I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. So, um, she's just a cutie dance. Uh-huh. 947... No, it was not. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on the right track. I know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. I forgot where I was going with all of this. Rhea, cats, despises, Odin, scared, spitless. <laughs> yeah, granddaughter would love cats, not getting one. But then she's all afraid because, uh, so she had a little friend who, or she has a little friend who got a kitten for her birthday. And so, you know, she's petting it and having a great time and she gets in the car and she's like, you know, um, she says to my daughter's boyfriend, when you and mommy, you know, move in together and we have our house, we're getting a cat and he's like mm, no we're not and she's like yeah they're so cute and he's like well your mommy your grammy and um your uncle are allergic well then she realized and she's like oh my gosh are they gonna die if um if uh they come home if i if i come home and i have cat on me and she's real worried right like her seat belt and her clothes and everything and her mom's like no no honey if you have a bath and um you know, it's just, it's, it's fine, you know, and, but she, she was all very, very worried that she was going to make her uncle and her Grammy sick <laughs> or possibly die. Um, and not that kind of allergies, just, you know, itchy and, um, would like to gouge my eyes out. And so I have learned that, um, I just don't touch my face. Come on out. Oh, these two are stuck. I just don't touch my face um, after, even with dogs too, like, um, it's just a dander thing, I think, I think, and yeah, so that's why we have so stinking many dogs, because, you know, gots to love something four-legged, and we do, so... Okay, you guys, I'm sorry, a little over all over the place too um, with this video. It's been kind of my theme the last few videos. 
And here, I have a reason why. So, um, as many of you, if you have watched a couple of my previous videos, you know that I got babysitting duty this weekend because somebody's mommy got to go to a three-day festival uh, in Seattle and, well, more specifically on Capitol Hill. And, um, and of course, they couldn't take the dog, so I got the dog. And so between my son and I, we're sharing some babysitting dog duties because she is used to sleeping with people. She, so she sleeps with her mom every night and, um, and I won't let her in my room <laughs> sleeping on the bed because she's the slobbery one. And I don't love that. I don't love that. You guys, mm -mm. she leaves what my daughter calls dog glitter. And, uh, I, I don't love the dog glitter as much as my son and my daughter do. And, oh, there was a hitchhiker in there. Okay, side note, I have always called the drills, um, different colored drills that are in a package from the regular, from the ones that are supposed to be in there. I've always called them hitchhikers. And I thought I was so original, you guys. I totally did. Thought that I was so original until I was watching, oh, I don't know who it was. Um, but I was watching another YouTuber and they called it a hitchhiker. And I was like, hey, <laughs> like that's really cool and all. Yay me. No, their video was way before I even started making videos for diamond painting. And um, so I was kind of cracking myself up. I'm like, huh, I just thought that I was so stinking original and I was not. Um, isn't that always the way though? Like we think that we have an original thought, but, uh, nine times out of 10, somebody has already come up with it, which is again, why I don't do the reinvent the wheel. I, or I, I don't invent the wheel. I, I am a firm believer. Uh, somebody has, has already done it. Oh, I guess that's don't reinvent the wheel, right? Okay, let me go back to why I'm having a really hard time. It is called lack of sleep. Okay, lack of sleep. So, my bad, I allowed the pretty princess to sleep with me two nights in a row. And for those of you who have children, I have four of them. I know that these little people take up a bed. We used to have a king size bed, and we would still get shoved out of our bed with two or three children in it because um we did not intend on having a family bed okay this one i'm gonna have to stick in here sorry ha well really slow at this too this is also okay <laughs> this staticky drills are real oh my goodness sakes okay this is it has the the less less colors than any other kit I've ever done. And, um, for diamond art club, let me, let me make that clear. And, um, it's going to probably take me the longest time because <sighs> diamond painting issues. <laughs> um, yeah, so we did not intend on having a family bed. It just kind of happened that way, mainly because our first son, or my first son, he um, had SPD and we didn't know it. And he just cried all the stinking time. And um, in order to get any sleep, the only way we could get sleep was if we were hanging on to him. And yes, we probably you know, taught him that behavior, but, um, he had some, some, uh, additional issues like with, uh, formula and stuff. And this was before all of the awesome special formulas you can get now, um, that he probably was celiacs though. We didn't know it at the time. And it wasn't, you know, 28 years ago, 20, almost 29 years ago, that was not, um, as prevalent, I guess, diagnosed as it is now. And, um, and so he 
we had a lot of problems with um, feeding and sleeping and stuff and um, so the only way that we could get sleep was if we somebody was holding him and uh, yeah and then of course you fall asleep because you're so stinking tired so yes I have lived through that and I don't mind that you know sh we we have sleepovers quite a lot and by sleepovers the funny thing is is she lives with me and um and her room is across the hall from mine and uh, let's make sure I'm not still on the right track three three seven yeah um yeah and so she ends up in my bed you know at least one night a week and then she's in her mom's bed. She probably sleeps in hers three or four nights a week. And why am I doing that? And um, so, you know, because mommy's not home and um, it's special girls weekend and Grammy's a sucker um, and she's tired and her defenses are down. I have allowed the tiny princess to have a sleepover in my queen size bed for two nights in a row. Well, people, I am tired. I am tired. Not only have we done things and played and, you know, gone to do girl things, we did unicorn masks on our faces. Um, you know, uh, we, we went and got Chick-fil-A and um, Menchie's, if you guys know what Menchie's is, it's an ice cream where you like choose your flavor. Of it. it's, uh, it's different than Baskin Robbins. It's like a, Menchie's is, I guess, more healthy. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, the ice cream's in a wall and you self-serve yourself. It's like, you know, Dairy Queen soft serve or whatever, you know, with a machine. The machines are in the wall and they have... 12 flavors or something like that and they change them every couple of weeks um and they have special ones anyways it's a big treat for her because she is lactose intolerant and um being celiacs and <laughs> and so um you know they always have like a sorbet or something they even have um they have quite a few that are gluten-free for her which is awesome because you would be surprised what foods have gluten in them. And uh, so anyways, we went and did that. And let me tell you, our two little things were like almost $11 because it's by weight, right? And so um, hers has like toppings in it and all kinds of stuff that adds to the weight, right? But I mean, we only do it every once in a while, so it's a special treat and so yeah so um but back to the sleeping so uh if somebody could ever tell us why this happens and how to fix it other than having a kid sleep in their own beds obviously would fix it but how is it that one small tiny child of eight years old. I mean, they're not 6'3", they don't weigh 200 pounds, they are small people, right? Littles. And they can take up a whole queen size bed, no problem at all. And that's what happened to me. Okay, you guys did see me cut that, right? Not enough. Um, and so, <laughs> I had to hang on for dear life in my own bed. Almost like this, yeah, yeah, seriously, I had this much. This, this portion of the bed, I was huddled up into it, hanging on to the edge for dear life, hoping and praying that I would not fall down. Um, because the tiny just kept getting closer and closer and closer. And then of course she sleeps diagonal and then one leg is like wrapped up around my head and an arm is like sitting on my back. And I'm like, how in the world do you contort yourself like that? Like, I don't know. But anyways, 
it's hilarious. And that's been my, that's been my weekend. It's been fun, people. It's been fun. I do have to say, being a grandma um, is by far a very rewarding experience. And it is definite, it is definitely our reward for not killing children. There's a reason why people are animals in the young, oh, for crying out loud. There's a reason why animals in the wild eat their young. There's been days that I've looked at them and went, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, 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 thank you. I love my children very much. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> and you have to have a good sense of humor as a parent because they suck the life out of you. Money, humor, and life. They suck all three from you sometimes. So you have to retain that humor at all costs, even if you sound like a dork. It's okay. And that's also kind of payback. Embarrassing the crap out of them with your sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And I've done it many a time to every single one of them. It's gratifying, people. It's gratifying. Um, and also, quick story. I had four children. I have four children. <laughs> and... Um, Three who live with me, one who has decided to be the, quote, black sheep of the family and doesn't have anything to do with us. That's a story for a different day. Um, but uh, <laughs> the three that I have they that live here, um, they all have great sense of, of humor. They're, I mean, all of my kids are great. But um, I joke and I say I had four of you so that, you know, not only will you be looking after your mom in her old age, but, you know, if you do it on a, each one of you can say, hey, I'll take mom three months out of the year, and then after the three months, she can go somewhere else. So we all get a break from each other, right? That sounds like a great idea. And, um, and I get a room in each child's place, again, sounds like a great idea. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I had so many children, was so that I could be looked after in my old age properly. <laughs> they don't find it as funny as I do. I don't know why. Okay, back to, again, back me up. Back to why I am so tired. So not only did we have, you know, girls weekend, dog duty, whatever, I'm doing laundry in my laundry room. And I have a, I have a good sized laundry room. Um, I have a, a big table in there for, actually it's kind of another craft table, um, slash, um, laundry, you know, uh, over hold. Every time people take anything out of the dryer, they seem to think, oh, I should put it on top of the table and not fold it or put it in a basket or anything. No, 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 that would be silly. Uh, no, I should probably just take it right out of the dryer and throw it either on top of the dryer or on the table. So, okay, so, you know, I'm doing, I'm catching up on some stuff this weekend along with the little. And uh, she's upstairs in the bathroom. And for about a week, I have been smelling this you know, not quite, not quite, I, I don't even know how to explain the smell. It, you know how toilet water can smell old after a while or whatever? Okay, that's kind of what it smelled like. And I'm like, huh, that's really weird. And, um, but I didn't really think too much about it. I'm downstairs doing laundry and the little princess flushes upstairs and all of a sudden I hear this drip, drip, drip. And it's going on like a... It's going on my cutting board that's on the table. And I'm like, where is that water coming from? And I look up onto the ceiling and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So does anybody remember if you've been watching my videos, I jokingly was laughing about the little 
putting a popsicle, fleshing a popsicle and a pops, no, uh, no, a popsicle stick and a lollipop stick down the toilet. And this was when I was sick and I wasn't feeling great and I didn't really think about it. And she's very absent-minded sometimes. I'm smart as a whip, but seriously, sometimes I look at her and go, I don't know how you're going to make it in life because... You are a book smart little child, but dang, sometimes a common sense. Um, and so, so, you know, I'm like, oh, this is going to be all okay. And remember how I said it will probably bite me in the butt? Okay, well, literally, I think it bit me in the butt, you guys. So... I text my boyfriend and I'm like, hey, guess what you get to do next weekend? And I'm praying and hoping, you guys, hoping and praying that it is just the seal of the toilet. You know, whatever that ring seal thingy is. Um, I'm hoping that that's what it is. I don't do toilets. Okay, here's another funny Man, I am all over the place. It's because I'm tired, you guys. I promise future videos won't always be like, oh, seriously? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Um, hopefully future videos won't be like this. Oh, for the love of. I have, I have four diamonds again. You have to keep a sense of humor, people. You do. You just do. Okay. I may probably not edit. Oh, well, I'm going to probably edit this out for the love of. I mean, this is, this is dip dip number five this weekend. I think I've done. Um, now nah, I'm not going to edit this out. This is real life. Hopefully you guys are doing some diamond painting or a craft or something. Um, because, wow. Okay, I, I may have to get a funnel. Like, yeah. Note to self, next Dollar Tree trip must get a funnel. They went in the grooves where my glass is. To the coffee table so let's see if I can get those out real quick um well that wasn't as painful um I was gonna side note something and I forgot what it was mm -hmm. life people life thankfully there's not many more there's not much more to go Okay, that was 11. 12 is 3860. 3860. All right. Yeah, so, yes. Oh, I. where was I? Um. Oh, yeah, no, side, okay, now I remember where I was. Side note, Um. we joke because there's three girls in this house, right? myself, my daughter, and my granddaughter. And, um, and after our, my divorce, you know, my daughter also went through a breakup. And so, you know, we, the, the two women in my granddaughter's life didn't have guys. And, um, and so we just, you know, we kind of did the whole, um, girl thing and, and uh, spent a lot of time together and I mean we always bonded and whatever but uh, we bonded even even more and we used to joke you know uh, that you know us girls we stick together and we don't need no man right and uh, and so we taught the the little princess that we don't need no man we're strong independent women we don't need no man well we need a man to fix our toilet <laughs> because not one of us girls is going to even attempt 
to try and fix that because there is no way I don't like the smell of toilets. That is a, that's like one of those Mike, is it Mike Rowe dirty jobs? Um, ah, I, I will fix pipes. I have dug, I have dug till the cows come home because I had a water pipe outside that, um, that broke and um, it was leaking so much water on the side of my house and um, and we had to do a lot of digging to find where it was broken and leaking in the rain because it rains 13 months out of the year here except now we're we've got some heat okay again totally off topic but uh just earlier this week like on tuesday Tuesday. So this is going to, this is Monday, uh, Tuesday of last week, we were getting ick weather. We were getting rain. It was cloudy, overcast, gross, gross weather. Right. And my boss walks into work one day as we are getting like ick rain. And she goes, you know, three quarters of the country is in a heat wave and here we are, you know, getting rain. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of sucky. And, um, we finally are getting some some heat. I think that we hit 90 today. No, 90 over the weekend. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is today. Um, I'll have to check that out. But uh, hot. We finally got some heat. I know it's not the 115 that some other poor people are getting in the country. And I feel very, very bad for you. I also will say that I have air conditioning in my house and it is the only good thing that the ex-husband insisted on when we had our house fire. That is a story for another day too. Um, but when we had to redo our house, it was the one thing he insisted on and I fought, fought, fought because I was like, what do we need air conditioning for? It rains 13 months out of the year here. And, uh, you know, the four days of heat that we actually get, I think that we can suck it up and buy some fans, right? No, I'm very grateful that we have, I'm just going to stick these in here. These were some of the ones that fell out of, I've got a lot of height hikers in there, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. So yes, I am, I am glad that he insisted because now I come home and I'm like, ah, yeah, worth it, worth it. Yeah, so everybody please pray for me and that, you know, when the boyfriend takes the toilet off next week, that it is not going to cost me a bazillion dollars because there's a leak somewhere and not fixable. Let's hope that it is the seal and not because some popsicle stick and or lollipop stick is stuck in the pipe somewhere. And that's why it's backing up the water doing, I don't even know what it's doing. But in other news, I... Okay, I have to I have to preface this. So I have a new new ish. It's only two years old, maybe three years old. Um, fridge, and um, I bought it, purchased it myself. I was very proud of myself. Um, I did a lot of research before I bought it. It has it's you know got all the bells and whistles. Well, of course, every couple of years they come out with better bells and whistles. So now it's old bells and whistles, but it's okay. Um, and it has, you know, the ice maker and the water in the door, right? And uh, apparently you're supposed to change those filters every once in a while. Well, it is, I want to say it's at least a good three years old now. And I've never replaced the filter. Water's been fine. Nothing wrong with it. The ice maker still works. Everything's good. So my boyfriend, who is actually an appliance tech repair guy, um, he's like, yeah. So he bought me the filters and it also has an air filter in it. 
um, to keep the food fresh, which is lovely. And the smell in your in your fridge, non-existent. Again, lovely. Did not know that there was this thing in there. So um, I changed that by myself today, you guys. I did it all by myself. Yep, I was pretty proud of myself. In the meantime, I also cleaned the fridge. Because, you know, if you're going to go to all that effort, I had to clean the top shelf anyways to pull the the um, filter, the water, whatever it is, out. Um, yeah, water, water, I don't even know what it is. Um, so I had to, I had to pull, I had to clean and take that shelf out anyways. So it was like, oh, let's just clean the whole thing. So I cleaned that fridge, the freezer, changed the water filter, changed the air filter. That was a little fun. Um, you would think that this stuff is easy, but it sounds easy. It's not as easy as it looks. So... Um, and I have to say, I'm also like, I'm the destructor girl. I should have been on, uh, I wonder what she's doing up there. Um, I should have been on, a construction crew because I love to demolish stuff. You give this girl a sledgehammer and a hammer I'll go to town. I love it. I love it. Um, crowbar. I am your girl. I know how to use all those things. And, um, yeah. But change a stinking air filter in a fridge. Psh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so these are the AB diamonds. Do you guys see how pretty those are? Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty and sparkly. Look at those. They're so pretty. There's quite a few of them too. So um, I wonder if they were in the roses or in the butterfly. You know, I never looked. And I should next time. You know, I was, I was wondering if buying, you know, I was on AliExpress the other day buying stuff because yeah and there was some funnels on there but they were silicone ones I don't know if that would be a good idea or not I feel like you know silicone is supposed to be like non-stick or whatever but I don't I don't know if because some of these drills are very sticky um, there's a lot of cling. There's a lot of cling. And so I, I feel like, I feel like that might not be the best. Yeah. Okay, baby girl is going to town vacuuming up there. I'm a little afraid what she's actually vacuuming. I didn't hear anything, but, uh, she has this wonderful habit of, um, clogging things up so um you know it's just a house right <laughs> oh lord and hey she's cleaning so there's that like why would I want to discourage that <laughs> yeah uh-huh so when I'm done kidding this up I'll go find out what's going on and maybe I'll report back in the next video we'll see her antics are hilarious you guys and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start possibly like I keep my my um, office or my office peeps I keep them in stitches over what happens in my house uh, I have one guy he is like you know the stories you tell about your family he's like you could honestly have a sitcom I'm like, I think I could too. I think I could too. You know what? I'm going to tempt fate and I am going to try and put this last one in there because I don't feel like living dangerously. It's that sleep deprivation, you guys. Sleep deprivation and then working all day. Yep. Yeah, baby. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Last one. I'm gonna put it over the edge. Yes. I did it, peeps. I did it. Oh, no, it's not stuck on me. This is one glorious jar of beautiful AB diamonds. Look at that. That is one beautiful jar. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, it is kitted up. <laughs> we are finally done. That was way painful. Again, I am so glad that Diamond Art Club has decided to go a different way with their quality because yikes i don't know that i could do this with every kit though i do it with ally express but also because the kits are so much cheaper um so let's recap let me recap um the kit is a it's called white roses and butterflies let me double check here <sighs> really uh, yes, White Roses and Butterflies. It is a 50 by 50, 50 by 50, and it is round with AB diamonds. So, um, it is what the wheel chose along with my Wolf Dream Catcher. And, um, so those are the two that I will be working on as Whips and Sips along with my collab with Diamond Art Addiction. I also uh, did my giveaway announcement for um, the diamonds, uh, the diamond painting or the cross stitch goodies. And so I will link that video down in the description. So you can go and check that out. It is open from July 21st to July 28th. And I will be announcing the two winners, one for diamond painting and one for cross stitch on the 29th at 7 p.m. Pacific Central Time. And um, so go check that out. Uh, yeah, so um, thank you for bearing with me. I'm sorry this was painful. I, uh, I swear I will get it together and um, get some sleep and uh, be a little bit better in future videos um, and hopefully they're not all like this so we're all good we're all good so thank you for bearing with me and I will see you in my next video have a good one bye bye